we're cooking barbecued pulled pork. It's gonna be delicious. And on my new apron. They brought his nice new apron. I like pig butts and I cannot lie. I've got my Dexter look going on. <laughs> First step for today is actually outside. Get the smoker started. So we have all the charcoal lit and heated. We're now gonna spread it out a little bit just to give some room. We're gonna throw in these grates. While Dave is gonna take the soaked apple wood chips. We have from here, store-bought. We didn't chip our own, unfortunately. We're putting those into a pie tin. And he's gonna set them right on top of the coals so that they start to smoke. You want them soaked so that they don't burn like and like catch on fire. You want them to be just smoldering, giving off smoke. from the same bag that we had the bacon and sausage from the last time we cooked. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> this is a this is a barbecue rub that's homemade. Um, I make a couple a lot of different rubs. This one has a lot of things like garlic and paprika and pepper and salt and onion powder. But Dave's gonna liberally rub some of this on each of these pork shoulders. The pork shoulder is also called pork butt. Um, there's a lot of different reasons people believe that it's called pork butt. Sometimes in Boston it came from the the butts, they call them, the less quality pieces, and they threw them on a barrel. But when you see pork butt, that is pork shoulder, which is a very naturally tough piece of meat. I was at the store this morning, and it actually said Boston butt, and it was a yeah. pork shoulder. <laughs> so if you just tried to cook this piece of meat like a steak, and eat it medium rare or something like that, it'd be like chewing on shoe leather. But we're gonna uh, slow, like braise it. We're gonna smoke it and then braise it with the barbecue rub and cook it for several hours until it's fork tender. We'll know it's done when it's falling apart and falling off the shoulder blade bones that are in it. We're going now, ready to put the pork butt in the smoker. Has it ready here? Look at these pockets. Ah, nice. <laughs> Got some smoke rolling in here. It's probably about 350, 400 degrees in here as well. Nice. So the pork will start to cook as it smokes. We'll let it go for about an hour and then we'll finish it inside. You know what else these pockets are good for? What? That's a magic <laughs> 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 The new addition to the family, the newest blue tick beagle, the next good rabbit dog. <laughs> I'm a hunting dog. <laughs> <laughs> now I gotta wash my hands. <laughs> All right, he's finishing chopping the cabbage and carrots. I'm chopping some kale that we're going to put with it to make our coleslaw to go with our pulled pork and be a little bit healthier. All right, we're making the coleslaw dressing. One tablespoon of the white vinegar. Half a cup of mayonnaise, quarter cup of sugar. Mm. 
getting this out. Uh, we're dealing with pouring down rain. Our usual weather. Old barbecue guys don't care. Kind of blows the stink off of us. This has been smoking for two hours in the hot coals. Look at that nice caramelized color on it, dark smoke color. Nice and juicy. Mm -mm. Look at that, I hate to let this load waste. Now we're starting the final process. So Dave can pour in this beef broth into here. I bought an inexpensive beef broth. How much do you want? All of it. And I bought a $1 bottle of cheap barbecue sauce. I'm gonna mix those together to have a nice beefy barbecue flavor. But what I need is a liquid to finish braising this. I could have cooked those pork butts put into the brazier. I could have cooked these pork butts for eight to ten hours at a low temperature in that uh, like smoker but we want to get it done sooner than that so we're going to put them in a, a nice braising pot and we're going to cover them by half to two-thirds with liquid. We we'll probably have to put some more water in here to get a little more moisture but not much. We'll mix this. Now we're going to bring it to a simmer first. We'll pop that on. Nope. I'm putting it to simmer first. And once this comes to a boil, put the lid on and put it in our 375 degree oven that's preheated. Okay, I have everything I want in here. Um, we're now just going to bring it to a simmer. And I'm going to put this lid back on. And we're gonna... Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> I got a oven because it's up to a boil and cook it I would say two hours but actually when it's falling apart fork tender it should be perfect it's gonna be perfect <laughs> this cooking is hard work yeah yeah we got we gotta wait like two three hours at least till that's nice and fork tender um, so we're just getting back watching TV we told the girls to go make us a pie so we have something for dessert. Ooh, well, apple pie. Do some women's work. <laughs> <laughs> no women were harmed in the filming of this. <laughs> I convinced Scott to let me go solo for a little bit. You don't get a body like this by wasting a good fire. So cook us up some hors d'oeuvres. I just woke up. Let's get this. <laughs> let's get this stuff checked. It's been in there for hours. Oh, that's hot. Toast up the buns. Do a hot pad over here. Let's see what we got. Ooh. That mean. Apart. Oh, I can't even pick it up. Let's see if it's full. You eat. That sure is some good Cajun cooking. <laughs> I guarantee. <laughs> Fork uh, tender. Falling apart. You can't even get it out of there without it falling apart. It's like most of that fat rendered down. That's how you know when it's done. Falling off the bone. If somebody has to temp it, they don't know what they're doing. Wrong. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's done good enough. <clears throat> Stir in the whiskey barbecue sauce. This is going to be amazing.
Running from the cold up in New England I was born to be a fiddler in an old time string band My baby plays a guitar, a big banjo now All oh, North Country winners keep forgetting me And I lost my money playing poker so I had to watch Nothing left to do is eat Let's give her a Played shot. it very nicely, but that's how we do it in the Appalachians. <laughs> Are you making a permani sandwich? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but ain't messy, it ain't good. <laughs> oh. I think I'm gonna eat the pie first. <laughs> so I'm not stuffed too stuffed for it. Mmm. Mm. Good as always. Golly. Great job with the pie. <laughs> I'll skip the sandwich for now. <laughs> Go with the pie. <laughs>